Okay, so another day and another update on my Star Force two layer bootleg. Um, we've got the capacitors, the capacitors have arrived today, so they've been fitted. So we've got 1016 volts, 1016 volts. I also changed this one as well. Oh, where are we here? This was originally had on it a 470 Now I could I could clearly see that this particular capacitor has been changed once in the past to the 470. Um, so I'm not 100% sure if it is actually a 1016 it needs or a 470 25. But I've put what was on there originally. So there we have it. And then I'll just turn it over as well. And the other 1016 and 1016. Yesterday you probably noticed or in the previous video I only showed you 3016 capacitors and the reason why is because one was just completely missing um, so that needed going on there anyway. So there we have it. I bought a pack of five so I've used four and I've got the one left over just in case I need it for there. Um, <clears throat> I haven't started the edge connector yet. Um, I nicked this off um, track and field uh, I've got three track and field um, jammer adapters, so I used one of those to uh, build this one, but I'm halfway through with it. Still got a bit more left to do. Um, so far, so good. Um, ribbon cables have gone back on, looking great. Also, what I did as well is I did the uh, leg levelers, so I um, decided to put it on standoffs and put your legs on it now, so it's all nice and looking great. It's a really big board, I must admit. One thing I have to say is um, there was holes in the centre. Now, if you ever look here, it's soldered, but there's holes in the centre as well. Now, one thing I've noticed here is when you've got it at the centre like that, it's really flimsy. It's really wobbly, and that I'm not happy of that um, about that. Um, this side though, the hole was clear, so I actually put another standoff in there. I didn't put a leg leveler, but I just put just a standoff, and it's made such a difference, it made a really good difference that has. So what I'm gonna do is when I get round to it, is I am going to desolder the soldering mask on there. Uh, it's probably wave soldering or something, but I'll take that out, uh, clear the holes, and I'm gonna put another, another leveler center point there so that keeps that straight as well. So the board will stay quite stiff and rigid. Um, so far, I'm really pleased with what I've done with this. Um, I can't see anything physical with this. I've actually shone it in the light, each board. Can't see any broken traces. Can't see anything wrong. I've checked the ROMs. They're seated properly. Um, they're not corroded or anything like that. You know, they they, they look quite good. Um, Z80 looks in good shape. Um, you've got Z80 there. That's a Zilog Z80, you've got a sharp Z80 there, and you've got some weird sharp Z80 here, which I don't recognise. I've never seen a Z80 in that, sh in that size, but it does say Z80 on it. Sharp, that's a sharp, this one is a sharp LH0081 Z80PIO, and this one's a sharp LH0082 Z80CTC-D. Hmm, not seen that one before. Um, Got another Zilog Z80 there. You got your video RAM there. Those two are your video RAMs. Um, what else can we see? Um, those one, two, three, four. Those look like Intel Proms. <clears throat> and then you got obviously uh, that's your um, op amp. Uh, it's a five one two double triple O M um, five one five one six L Mitsubishi. Um, careful with those especially when your voltages are wrong because those will fry um, seen that happen before um, I think that's another RAM I think that's your graphics RAM maybe uh, it looks like that's been changed in the past it's got a socket on it I'm not sure what that one is um, I know the original has a uh, has a longer one it's an Okai I can't read it's MSM 212B must be some sort of RAM I think it's a ceramic style, gold plated ceramic style. Really nice, that is. Looks cool. Um, what else can we see on here? I think, I think there we are. I think those might be RAMs, I'm not sure. 
Not sure about those two. Oh, those two there. A TMM two one one four AP dash twelve hundred twenty nanoseconds. No, I don't think they're RAM. Um, I check the data sheet, but there we have it. Um, so far, so good. Oh no! Oh no! Another capacitor that needs changing. I didn't mark that one. See, it's always good to sort of go over your boards. Um. Where are we? Where's my camera? Where are we? Yeah, here we are. Yeah, yeah this one here. Uh, uh, this one here. Where's my finger? Yeah, that one there. I've just taken... Yeah, right there. So, I've got a few more left. Um, that one's definitely gone. <laughs> so now we're going to have to take the whole board, whole board apart. Desolder that one carefully, nicely. And change that one over. Yeah, it's good to always go through, go over your boards and stuff and sort of just check them one by one, each bit piece. Yeah, so much, so much turns up that you don't, you don't realise. Um, I remember that, 16, ROM number 16, I remember that it needs a cap changed on there. But there we have it, okay. Gives me an, it gives me a bit more time to make the jammer adapter, jammer adapter now, because I know I have to do that. And I, won't, I won't fire it up until I've done that. But yeah, there we have it. Uh, thank you for watching, and um, I'm really am hoping that part three of this will be the fire up test, and that we'll fire this up <coughs> and actually see what what happens. Um, so fingers crossed, wish me luck and thanks for watching guys.